Hey YouTube, this is Gallagher123123, back with you. And in front of me we have something pretty exciting. You may remember, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a few years now, that about three and a half years ago, I reviewed a vintage Braille note taker, the Braille Light 40. Well, as of today, I've gotten my hands on another older note taker. This one also just pretty much just as common. This is a Braille and Speak Scholar. So this isn't as old, you know, this isn't one of the original ones, but it's a very cool one. This was designed in a partnership between Freedom Scientific and APH and was distributed, I believe, by APH. It has some APH branding. So I got this off of eBay for a pretty reasonable price. I happened to see it and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to take one of these. So, I'm not going to give you a tour. And then we'll have some fun playing around with it. So you have your six dot, well it's an eight dot braille keyboard, one, two, three, four, five, six, and spacebar. So you cannot do computer braille symbols, like there's no seven and eight, which is a bit annoying for deleting stuff, but that's something that's always been the case with the braille and speaks. The braille lights have had the backspace and enter, but they don't on the, on the braille and speak for some reason. So, as I said, this was, well, let me finish going over the um, the physical description. Right now, I do have the Braille and Speak out of the case. So on the left, we have the charger port and the serial, I think. And be quiet, voiceover. There we go. Um, and then, top and bottom, nothing. On the right... We have the headphone jack and the rocker power switch. So I just want you to get to see that better, which is why I kept it out of the case. However, I'm going to quickly slip this into the case. Where did I put the case? Here it is. This is the case that it comes in. Now I'm going to try and show me on camera, show you on camera how this works. I'm just going to put the braille and speak on my lap. So this is zipped open. And you're able to slide this in through the back. Okay, I'm not really going to be able to do this on camera. So this is it right now where it's kind of in the position. Oh man. Okay, so now I've started the process, so I'm just going to finish it by sliding it in, and I believe I have it in all the way, and then there is a zipper, which I will go ahead and do. And now, the Scholar the Braille and Speak is in its case. So let's see. Okay, so enough with the boring part. Let's have a little play with it. So this is the newer version of the Scholar, which means it has... Oh, do I have it in Yeah, I missed it. Okay. This has the double talk speech on it. So it's a bit better than the voice that I showed you when we did the Braille Light review. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. This is using double talk speech. So it's a bit clearer. So I'm going to power it on right now. Hey, 
And what it said there, and I'll go in a minute and slow this down, it said APH Scholar Ready, help six pages. Oh, and on the case up here, you have a spot for like earbuds. So this is very cool. So now let's just quickly go into speech parameters first, because I want to slow this down. I'm going to do an AR chord. Set speech parameters. And set speech parameters was spoken. And I'm going to press dot three to slow this down. Four slower, three slower, two slower, one slower, zero slower. And that beat means we got, we're going to go up to two. Up two faster. Because I think two should be reasonable. Edit. Now that's all I'm going to do here for now. I'll show you speech parameters in a minute. Now I'm just going to let you hear the startup message again slower. So there we go. Speech on. Six minutes. Six seconds. Speech on. Okay. So now what we can do is we can read this by doing the dot four chord. Writing functions. Backspace. Chord. Writing. APH scholar L file. Writing functions. Backspace. Chord dash P. Uppercase next character. Chord dash U. Uppercase lock. Chord dash U twice. Uppercase unlock. Chord dash U. Okay, so that's that. Now let's create a new file, and we'll type a little bit. So to do that, we're going to do a chord. Option. And then F. Friday, February 10, 2017. Oops, I did a D. I was trying to do it one-handed. Option. Enter file command. And we're told to enter file command. So we'll do C for create. Enter file to create. And this is telling us to enter a file name to create. We'll just call this YouTube. Y -O -U -T -U -B -B. And now we do an E chord, and we'll be into the file. Yowtube. Oh, Yowtube. <laughs> Double talk says. I actually think the older voice got it right. But I don't know. We can find that out by watching my Braille light review. Okay, so now we'll just type something in here. So there you go. Um, so quickly let's have a look at speech parameters. So we'll do AR chord again. Set speech parameters. So one and four do volume. Six louder, seven louder, eight louder, nine louder. <laughs> Oops. Print a soft, seven softer, six softer, five softer. So we'll go to five. Now two and five are exciting. They change the voice. So. The default is Precise Pete, Ricochet Randy, Ricochet Randy. Biff. Biff, Skip, Skip. Robo, Robert. Robo Robert, now we have to go the other direction, so dot two. Skip. And there's Perfect Paul. Now he is my favorite, so we'll select, we'll just leave it on him. Exit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything we just wrote, so I'm going to go to the top of the file. Top of file. Enter delete parameter. Now do a Z. Abort. Oops. Enter delete parameter. All. Okay. So the way to do that is D chord, Z, E chord. So I just deleted everything that I wrote. So we have an empty file. File is empty. So that's the scholar in a nutshell. Quickly, 
I can just check the time. Option. 10.44 p.m. And do the date. Option. Friday, February 10, 2017. So. How much time do we have? Speech on. Stop recording. Take picture. Button. 10 minutes. 23 seconds. Speech off. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up soon, but, um... Quickly, let's just look at the status menu. Actually, no, we'll do options. Option. So now if we do space dot four, we go to the options. Check appointments. Check appointments. Calculator. Calculator. Date. Date. File commands. File commands. Smart calendar. Smart calendar. Calculate line. Calculate line. Open the previously opened file. Open the previously opened file. Open currently selected file. Currently selected. Review mode. Set time date. Spell check. Time. Say countdown timer. Uppercase proof mode. Stopwatch. Wind disk. Execute program. Say alarm. Now at the end of the menu, so let's exit. Invalid input. Oh. File is empty. Okay. So that's basically. Let's do the status menu quick. Status menu print line length 75. Interactive off. So now we're at the serial stuff. Serial port off. 9600 bot. No parity. Have duplex. 8 gigabits. One stop bits. Software handshake. At Lin FB when transmitting. On. Braille translator on. Cursor tracking on. September 16, 2004 revision. So this is running September 2004 firmware. Speak windows. Lines or sentences. Lines. Reject ornamentation. Care. Skip blank lines. Distinguish case during find. Battery used 67 hours 37 minutes. 92% not charging. B at column 0. Printer is Epson compatible. Print line length 75. Print left margin 10. Print page length 60. Print top margin 6. Braille line length 33. Braille left margin 1. Braille page length 25. Braille top margin 1. Window length 80. Interactive time of 0. Double space off. Voice inflection on. Number pages off. Power reminder on. Hand calls off. Check appointments on. Word exceptions. Progress clicks on. Make parameters file specific off. Speak words in say all mode off. Say as values off. Double speed off. PC editing off. Interactive off. And there we go. Exit. So this is like you can start message again with perfect Paul. APH scholar ready out of one page braille file. There we go. So that is the scholar in a nutshell. It's pretty cool. If there's anything else that I didn't cover that you wish I had, let me know. And I'll be glad to do it. This I got off of eBay, and it came today. It's quite nice. Alright, so that's Braille and Speak Scholar. Hope you've enjoyed this, and see you in a future video.